day in the HO scene, it's time to turn this pile of cardboard into... This! Exciting times indeed, but what you need to know is, this is the first ever CNC anything we've ever had in the house to chop. Oh, lessons will be learned. I got this computer sitting back here, which is gonna run the show later, but right now, it's super convenient because Langmuir put all the assembly instructions for the table up on YouTube. So without further ado, get this sucker out of the cardboard. Wow, if half the care that went into packaging and shipping this thing is in the machine itself, this is gonna be triumphant. Let me flip the camera around, let me show you guys how this is done. It's beautiful. Just look at the hardware and the small pieces, all individually bagged, clearly labeled. There'll be no confusion about where any of that goes. And then again, clearly labeled with the stepper motors, but look inside. Packaged in such a way it was definitely gonna arrive here in one piece without any problems or issues. And everything just looks like that. Even look at this. The powder coat got here with not a single scratch on it. Oh man, wow. These days, getting stuff to your house in one piece is half the battle. The way this stuff was packed though, there was never a doubt. So now let's make this pile of parts look like a table. Gantry is installed. Next step, water table. Well, that's it. That was the electronics install. The only thing left to do is put on this laptop stand, and then it's a wrap. We get to the computer stuff. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
The assembly part of the process is now a wrap, and man, does this thing ever look good. Check it out. We got the XL kit on here. That way the torch head has the full run of the water table. Electronics down where they belong, just waiting for launch. But look, the laptop stands lonely and looking for its little buddy. So, it's the part where I'm not feeling super confident, but let's just take this laptop, <laughs> put it where it belongs, and see if I can't uh, wake this thing up. Breaking procedure has begun and the robots are live in the HOC. <laughs> do you believe this? I'm starting to get a little confident now. Next thing to do is hook up the plasma torch and see if we can get it to fire. Excellent plasma cuts always start with clean, dry air. If you want to see how I built this system, hit the link. If I've done everything right, we're going to hit the button on this computer and that torch is going to fire. Drum roll, please. <laughs> it worked. All right, we just need to take it down for a second. I am super impressed with this thing. My biggest fear with this was it was gonna get here, something was gonna be wrong, and I wasn't gonna know what to do with it. The breaking procedure went without a hitch. The torch firing just went off without a hitch. During going through the tutorial videos, I even found out Langmuir puts that gantry on the rails, they're gonna send it to you, tests it out, and then puts it in the box. They made this totally easy for a noob like me. We are putting some water in this, and we're cutting something today. I think we may have had success here. Oh, it's looking good. Oh, wow. Look at that. Come on, what did you think I was gonna cut first? It had to be the flying wing wonder. Guys, this has gone exceedingly well. I have a link down in the description where you can save $100 on your own Langmere table. In the box right here, boom, is a link to my dry air system should you need to get dry air to your plasma torch or tools. And I'm already thinking about upgrades for this, so make sure you subscribe so you can follow along, hit the comment section, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. That's beautiful, chap.